so I thought I'd hop on here because I just got a package that I'm really excited about in preparation for my spring bear hunt in Idaho. I'm trying this out for backcountry hunts and it's to control food in the backcountry without creating waste to pack out uh, meat and fat and any other um, organ meats and stuff like that or even tenderloins and backstraps. These are reusable, uh, more environmentally friendly silicone um, bags that basically replace Ziplocs in your backpack. So when you have, when you're packing, you know, three, four, five days worth of food, you want to have a big bag filled with each day's meals just to keep yourself um, energized. Make sure you're getting all the nutrition you need each day. So you want to like bundle it by category, by uh, calories and by protein and carbs and fat. So you want to hit your macros because you're going to be hiking and hunting. You want to be uh, efficient out there. So you want to have your food ready and be super efficient with making it. And basically these bags will allow me to do that without creating a bunch of plastic waste with buying Ziploc bags. And I can use them over and over again, wash them, use them for other uh, other needs um, out in the backcountry. So let's take a look. Very excited to try these out. It's a company out of California. Creates reusable silicone bags that are supposedly better for the environment. I did a little research on silicone. It still requires the use of petrochemicals to basically use silica from sand to convert it um, from, obviously, from sand into this rubberized silicone material. Um, but it is significantly more durable than regular plastics. This is the main reason I got it. So it is heat resistant up to 400 degrees. You can use it in a sous vide, which I have for wild game, which, you know, you submerge it in water and it heats, you know, whatever meat you're cooking to a specific temperature and it holds it at that temperature. You can use it in the fridge. You can use it in the freezer too. I don't think it says it here, but you can put it in the dishwasher, you can put it in the microwave. I don't like to use microwave as much as possible, but pretty cool um, basic information. Then I got a variation of sizes. So this is the smallest size that I got. As you can see here, it's like a sandwich sized bag. See right there, it's got a clear side and then kind of an opaque side. Really like, it feels like really good quality stuff. I've felt some crappy silicone before, but it has basically like a Ziploc closure, but it's very, very stiff. So that's closed. But that thing, unless you get your fingernail in there, that's not coming open. And it should hold air pretty dang well. This is a 28 ounce fluid ounce. There it goes, let's the air out. So the idea behind these is that, is that I can use them over and over again in the back country and not have to use Ziploc bags. I hate creating waste and seeing trash and just one less thing that I'm putting into the environment, into the trash heap. So there we go. So, I mean, it doesn't hold air super well, but you don't really want it to hold air. You want to squish it down on whatever's in here um, and get all the air out of it. And especially if you're sous vide, you want it to marinate or whatever you're cooking in, oil, butter, and then the meat, and you want to have it really tight up there. And it's pretty flexible. I bet you could get it really tight and a lot of the air out. So that's the smallest size two of them and then I think this is the medium size I wish they didn't come in this packaging I hate packaging in general I think you just wrap it in paper it's better so this is a different color got the ones that were on sale because these things are expensive I believe the small size is around eight to ten dollars which is crazy but supposedly it lasts up to 10 years. I'm sure that if you're putting it through the ringer, it's probably less than that. This is the second size. Plastic free. Platinum silicone. Alternative plastic. And so this one is 64 fluid ounces or 1.92 liters, half gallon. This is like the, the biggest size of the regular bags that don't have like a base on them. I don't like that it's made in China. That's the one thing I will say. I believe that it's imported 100% and you know, I hope their quality control is good over there um, I've had it has amazing reviews, but I would like to see them manufacture in America and if I find a Company that does then I'll probably switch to them um, But this is the only option 
that I could find. This is just a basically a bigger version of the smaller sandwich bag. Pretty sweet, clear side and an opaque side. There's two of those as well. This is the one that I'm really stoked about. And I like how it's actually packaged with paper, so you can recycle it. It's not plastic going into the landfill. This is the Stand Up Mega, which is three liters, over three liters, 104 fluid ounces. So my idea for this is to pack all of my food in, in the smaller bags, loose food, and then this will kind of house all of it um, in my backpack when I'm hunting. So that's the thing, this is not like the other bags in that it has a stand up feature. I'll pull it out. So basically the bottom kicks out, closes the same. It's actually got a thicker closure, I think, because it's bigger and Oh, actually, it goes all the way around. Okay, so it goes all the way to the edge on this one. I think the other ones don't. That's pretty cool. But basically, it stands up. It's that wide. And so the idea is I can put, you know, a couple of these smaller bags in here with smaller portions of food for each day and then pull them out. And also what I can do is if we kill something out there, I can actually boil water and pour it in here because this is good up to 400 degrees and I can cook food in this in this bag. And also I can pack out heart, liver, um, fat from a bear. I think that's the plan for this, this spring is if we get a really fat bear, which isn't very common in the springtime, but if you do get a super fat bear, you can put it in here and throw it on some snow and it will you know, keep a lot longer than if you just have it in a game bag and it'll be a lot less messy because that fat gets really greasy. I'm really excited to try these and I'll probably do a review on how they went on the hunt afterwards, but overall pretty excited. They're called Stasher. I would like to see them produce in America, <laughs> but you know, beggars can't be choosers. They're expensive. So um, obviously I would, you know, look for a sale or something like that, but I will put a link to the Amazon um, code or the Amazon uh, I got these from. So hope y'all enjoy. That's Dasher.